Evening campers. No, it's not. It's good morning campers. <laughs> hi, Eddie, hi. <laughs> right, I can't shout because it's really late. I think it's two o'clock in the morning. I'm getting tired. Look at my eyes. Right. Howdy doody. Oh, welcome to my channel. And right, let's have a look and see what we're going to get tonight. It is tonight still. I know people say it's the morning, but it is still tonight. The morning is not till the sun rises. If you ain't seen me before, my name's Kerry. I'm a psychic intuitive reader. And that's about it. And I get angel, but the girl. I get guided by your angels and mine. And then I do you a read. It is normally karmic here, I'm not going to lie. Sometimes it's not. I've got Leo girls just come up. I'm going to get straight into it. I'm not going to do introduction because I am quite tired. Right, young mother, 16 plus. So that could be you or someone you've dealt with or dealing with. Pardon me. Right, someone might want to start up with you again. So someone might want to start it up with you again. You could have known this person and had kids with them when you were 16. Take it where it fits. Or you could have had a mum that was 16, okay? Sorry about the shadows. This is my lighting. Right, someone hates you. <laughs> Just because. Just because. Just because they do. Right, whoever you're dealing with, they are all rattling. Like, rattling, sorry. not rat Why do I say rattling? Someone could be on drugs and they could be rattling. Or someone could be coming off alcohol, I'm getting led to say, because I said rattling and I meant to say ratting. So someone is rattling. They could be. So a young mum could have had a baby that's rat rattling or you could have been an alcoholic baby, I'm getting. Right, so people are all ratting on each other now. <clears throat> people might be relocating, you know. They might be feeling like packing up and going. They could be driving somewhere or packing up their stuff in a car, I'm feeling. Someone might feel like driving somewhere and starting up something new. They might wanna to drive towards you and start something up new with you because everyone's talking and arguing and fighting. Right, them, I was gonna say them, these people or your person, they basically hate you because they're jealous. And I think because these people are hating on you, People who are hating on you might be with someone you used to be with and this person might be driving towards you because everybody's hating on you and maybe they're all trying to start all this up again. So this could concern you. You may have been a young mum, okay? Now, these people are getting really bad health now because they took away your freedom of speech. So they might have tried to stop you talking about something. Right, these people or persons, yeah? What, these people or persons? People or persons is the same. Oh, I'm tired, sorry. Get in the zen. Come on, get in the zen. Right, so, right, this person or people, yeah? <laughs> tried to take away your freedom of speech. And this person has got anger issues they can't control their anger maybe they can't control their anger because now they can't speak about you and now that's why they're hating on you because they can't talk about you no more so somebody might have stopped them from starting up again with all this talking it's making them angry so people now want to relocate because they're feeling scared because they're all in bad health and they're getting bad karma so someone could be packing up their car and driving away or driving towards you, okay? January the 1st, someone's ending a connection. They are, or they're ending connections with people that have been hating on you. Thank you, angels. Right, slow down, Kerry, because I'm tired. So, someone's realising that you is the best they ever had and that you're doing your best now and you've got enough and you are enough. They may be feeling that, yeah, someone's realising that. Um, see, I'm getting someone who feels familiar to you feels that you was the best they ever have had and that you're enough. And maybe they're feeling like doing their best now will be enough. But someone is really jealous of you and they are. Now, this person feels familiar to you or they could feel like family or it could be family. But this family or this person is very jealous of you. 
because you've waited and good things have like arrived now or best the best is coming for you or you have the best i'm feeling yeah this is close friends or family this is close friends or family so that's why it feels familiar <clears throat> yeah family are not always good no they're not so this family could be a family to do with your person i'm feeling are jealous of you because you feel very familiar to this person meaning your person we'll say your person okay Right, so your person could be rowing with their close friends and family now and realising that they're not all good because they're all very jealous. Now, they realise now the best things come to those that wait. So if they'd have waited around with you, they felt safer with you. But I thought they went off with someone. Maybe there was a young mum who was their partner before you. So they might have gone back to an ex. This person could have drove towards this person. But ever since this person has been with this person, they've had bad health. Right. So this person could have relocated towards their ex to start up something new. Thank you, angels. But now these people are hating on you because they were talking about you. <clears throat> and someone don't like the fact that now everything's out what they were saying about you so it's causing this person now to get angry and they can't control their anger thank you angels let me go with this deck here yeah this person made you feel very paranoid about moving forward they did they made you feel very paranoid this person ain't got a pot to pee in nor a window to throw it out of love no, they haven't. Seriously, they've got no money. They have got no money. Right, so this person left a strong woman to basically go with someone that was weaker than you and less than. Now, you're a healer, and I don't feel this person is. I feel this person they went towards may have said that you was a witch and they're a witch like as in like doing spells they feel like you put a spell on them that's why they've got no money they must they must be then i was going to say they they might be but i said must be so this person's believing that you put a spell on them because they feel you're a witch but you're not you're a healer but now they've got no money. This is making this person or people feel very paranoid now and angry. So they could be seeing shadows and orbs. Yeah, look, what did I say? It always confirms what I've said. So someone thinks you've done magic on them and it's backfired. But really, they've probably done magic on you and it's backfired. But they think you put spells on them because they feel ill and they're in bad health. I told you my cards always confirm what I say. Yeah, because this person chose that and money over an empress or an emperor. And this could be a Libra. So this person chose to go and sleep with an ex, maybe for money, and left an empress or an emperor. Oh dear. So all the magic is backfired now. They might be seeing shadows and orbs and seeing things. Things might be going bump in the night for them. And they're getting very angry about this. It's making this person feel very paranoid. They might be moving house because this is giving them bad health. Something might feel familiar with what you said. You might have warned this person about this, I'm feeling. And you might have warned this person that these friends and family or friends and family that they went back to were not good for them and they were going to take all their money. You could have warned this person about this. And they might have gone towards a Libra or you're a Libra. Now, this person knows you were speaking the truth. And now they're a little bit hateful towards it because they didn't believe you. This person's realising what you spoke about was the truth. And what you spoke about is now starting to happen. So this person feels like, I keep wanting to say people. So it must be a few people. This person now wants to drive away or drive towards you. <laughs> yeah, because this person knows now you've changed. They know you've changed. Right. So whoever they're around is very jealous of you. And this person feels like leaving where they're living. Sorry, I repeat myself, but I'm being guided, guys, all right? 
Right, okay, let's get some more cards. So this is a very entitled person. This person's missing your home and the fact that you are very peaceful. And they know that your home is a happy home. Yeah, this pers person can see clearly now that they're not with the idiot, basically. So whatever you said was the truth. And they can see clearly, or you can see clearly now that this person's gone. But I feel it's them. And this person knows they should have stayed with you in a peaceful, loving home. <clears throat> because I think you balanced out this person quite a lot. Right, this person has no money. They don't. They might not even have a home to live in because they're driving away. So they might all be packing up and moving. This person's off track. They are. They're realising that life's very real now, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, this person should have counted their blessings, but they didn't. They thought, yeah, that you wasn't a blessing. They didn't count their blessings and they didn't. They went towards something that didn't work. Now they're realising that you are enough, you have enough. And if they'd have done their best, you would have been enough. Yeah, this person's realising they should have given to you. The only trouble is this person might be very lonely. That's why they're coming towards you. This person's feeling they should give to you. But they're feeling stuck now, that's why. They're feeling very stuck. And the only reason they're stuck is because they got themselves off track, okay? And I don't feel this person suits you anymore because now you know that you're enough. If this person was right for you, they wouldn't drain your soul. So be careful if you feel lonely. Don't get back to this person just because you're lonely or they're lonely. Because they just feel sorry for themselves, that's all. And this person is very confused or makes things very confusing. They confuse the situation. They might be confused about why someone was jealous of you, I'm getting. Because they did realise that you, you balanced everything out. But they are feeling that life's getting real. And now life's real, isn't it? They know that better days are coming for you now. And they do. Yeah, because you dared to do things that you wanted to do. And they know this. And now you're showing these people what they should have been for real. And now they're all blaming each other. Because they're all cowards. Oh dear, so now everything's going a little bit pear-shaped. You need to protect yourself from this person because this person is drinking a lot and they are, they're drinking a lot. I feel like this person's drowning their sorrows. Right, it says, you think differently about this person. You are two different people and you are See, you're you and they're them. You're you and they're them. They're, they're, you're not the same and you're not. And they can't change you and you try to change them and you can't change them. And you just think completely different because you're both different people. And you went and changed and this person can't change. And that's exactly that. This person thinks you don't know what's gone on. They think that you don't know. They might think that you don't know how much they drink or how much they feel like they're drowning. Right, so let's have a little... This won't be a long one, guys. Yeah, this person doesn't like you being happy. They hate you being happy. But this person wouldn't... If this person's around you, they drain you, yeah? And they siphon out your energy like a sponge, honestly. And I mean, this can be very harmful, it can. And because you've cut this person off because you knew this person was like this. And they're an energy drainer. And they are, they're very damaging. They damage your spirit and they do. That's why you gave this to the Lord and you did. I feel that very strongly. You might have your left ear ringing, like trying to give you downloads and give you messages from your angels and ancestors. 
warning you that this person drains you. You might have felt like when you was around this person, like you had no energy. Yeah, see this, this person or you, who is this angels? Yeah, this person wants to get to you, but you're blocked. Or they might just want to get to you as in drain you, not get to you as travel towards you. They just want to get to you, like get on your nerves, just drain your energy. This person thinks that you're still an overthinker. And when you was an overthinker, you were someone that overloved this person because you used to overthink everything. I think this person put you in your thoughts quite a lot because they didn't like you being happy. They'd put you in your thoughts so you'd be miserable. Someone might think you don't know this, that they actually tried to send you a bit like in your head. And that's why this person doesn't like it because they like to get to you and make you feel in your head. Yeah, you've chose different things now. You're trusting yourself more now. Like you really put thought into like your choices now. And you do, because you know this person is very, very draining. Yeah, this person thieves. This person might have, like, stolen off you. They could have stolen an item, or they could have just stolen your mind, or just stolen your life, or stolen your time. I think you trusted your intuition on this person, that they was robbing your time and your energy, and it was very, very straight. Like, um, I was going to say strange but I said strange this person could be very strange and they like to get you that's what's very strange this person's creepy you know you might not even recognize this person now if you see them I think this person's creepy and they think that you don't know because they put on an act with you this person could be creeping around you know because they don't like the fact that they haven't got control over you anymore. That's what I'm feeling. My like angels and ancestors, can we have another card for the collective? I hope you're right, guys. And I hope you're having a good weekend. Yeah, this could be a neighbour or a friend or a karmic. So there could be a neighbour or a friend that's a bit creepy. Or could be creeping around you. Be very careful because this neighbour or karmic could be creeping around you and might try and act friendly towards you, like giving you friendly gestures. Or this could have happened. Now, this person used you to control you for intimacy, okay? So this person might want to come back and be gross and act a bit creepy around you and try and get you into bed. Just stay positive, guys, honestly, with this person. Do some praying and meditate. Oh, my head's buzzing. I feel this person gets intoxicated a lot. So this person might try and be friendly with you or a neighbour might be friendly with you, but they're toxic and they're creepy and they're trying to have control over you. They think you don't know that there is a creepy neighbour around keeping an eye on you, trying to control you. A neighbour could have used you for that as well, you know. You could have, like, known about this. Or they might, you might not know that a neighbour used you for that. Because this person is weird. You might be trusting your intuition that this neighbour wants to do that to you. To have control over you. Because they're really creepy. Well, I'm not feeling nice on this. This might revisit old wounds for you, me talking about this. <sighs> right, this person juggled your life. So you might have had a neighbour that juggled your life, a neighbour or a friend that was very karmic-y. They could have juggled your life, like, as in, like, told lies on you, brought up old things about you, like, re revisited things all the time to get you in your head so you would feel wounded, which is very creepy. This person's very controlling, and they may have controlled you like this, but I think you found out and used your intuition that this was a bit more than a friendly gesture. This person thinks you don't know. Maybe you don't know. This person didn't like the fact that you was doing well. And this neighbour was seeing that you was doing well. 
Yeah, you have to change things around you or maybe you had to change things around you where you was living. Yeah, you gave it to the Lord. Oh, my eyes itching, guys. Ew. I think we've got a weird... Yeah. <clears throat> right, someone wants to take your gift or they did. Or someone's realising you're the gift. Someone's detected their lies, so it could be you being a detective has detected their lies, or the police may have detected this person's lies. Give me some more on this, angels. Or someone's detected their lies about you still being alive. Why are you so alive? Why are you recovered? Why are you so calm? Why are you being able to rest now? Someone tried to put you into a state of like not being able to recover from this. They wanted you to be like all frantic, always running around, never been able to relax. You could have been going through this for three years or three months. This person didn't want you to do well. They wanted to take your gift or they thought they was God's gift. This person thinks you don't know because they do this to you. Oh, this person's going through a lot. Oh, they are. This person's losing money. All their lies are being exposed. This is getting really messy, guys. This is causing a lot of dramas and a lot of gossip. There is a lot going on with gossip. They're going through a lot because I feel someone stole your gift or they're realising now, people are realising that this person loved bomb you to get your gifts because they're a thief. Because this person didn't want you to do well, so they thought they would steal off you. This is going to be good news for you that is coming out. You're going to be happy about this because you've been screaming and shouting about this, wanting people to know. And you did never give up. You didn't. You didn't give up. Because you let this person go back to the what they chose. I think you did. You probably did know this person went off with someone else and you let them go. And you just let them go back to the thing that they chose. Maybe you felt like this was good news when they went to back to this person. Because they tried to lo uh, like love bomb this person as well. But they realised that all the gifts they were getting was actually the gifts from you because you was the gift. <laughs> so now they're going through a lot because they tried to steal your gifts and it's all getting messy. And this person can see you doing well and they realise that you're a healer. This person is overthinking this a lot, I feel, because you trusted your intuition. This person knows that you won't give to them no more because they took too much from you and you're spending time by yourself on your own. Someone might have wrote down something about this and it might even be seen. Someone could have literally wrote something down and let it go somewhere and now someone has detected what's gone on about you spending time on yourself. And I feel like you was going through a lot. And this person said that they was going through a lot. I feel this person said that you was love bombing them, but they was love bombing you. But you're going to find this is really good news, that this has all come out. You might already know this, but this person thinks you don't. <laughs> this person at the moment has got no passion, no passion in anything. They don't feel passionate about anyone who they're with. And now they've got no desire to be of anyone because they know now that you're the gift. So it's put them in a really heavy energy because of all the love bombing they've done. So now they're going through it. <laughs> oh dear. And now they're in misery because now you've walked away. And now they're realising that they've got rid of the best thing that they ever had. Oh dear. So now someone's really like sulking and they're really stropping about this and they are. Someone has said that you was the love of a lifetime to a family or a friend. They might be saying it now, that saying that you are a love of a lifetime because you was the gift. But you don't want this person. This person's gutted. 
They thought that they could go off with friends and family. This person loved bombs everybody and now they want to come back to you because they feel you'll make them happy, but it's too late. So it's going to make this person sad and they're going to feel gutted when you tell them no because they went off with a friend or a family member. So now this, this person goes from side to side. I feel like they go on the winning side. I feel this person can't mask, can't um, weigh up their masculine and feminine energy. I feel if this is a man, they're a little bit in their feminine energy. They want to be the woman of the relationship, getting all the attention. That's why this person gets really jealous of you. And this person is probably confused about this because they act like the female. Yeah, this person wants all the passion given to them. They want you to desire them and like pamper them. Maybe you did. Like this person. Yeah, I feel this is a man in the feminine energy. But whatever's coming out, you trusted your intuition and it is it's what you thought it was. And you are going to get good news about this. And you are. You could be a dog lover. <laughs> I just said, or oh, this person might just like dogs as in women. <laughs> and they found out, I swear they've gone. These people are just like, oh. Yeah, look. Because they're fighting addictions. So people they're with are fighting addictions, and so are they. And they're all fighting as well. This person could smoke green as well, or smoke a pipe, I'm getting. You are a coffee lover. That always comes up for you. Yeah, someone's feeling very confused now and they're going within. Because they realise that they hung on to something that wasn't meant for them and they've got rid of you and you was the gift. What a wally. No, this person has messed right up. Angels, right, what we on? We'll give it a break soon. So I want to keep it under 30 minutes. Yeah. You was fighting addictions with this person, I feel, or they might have tried to get you to get into addictions or habits, but you gave it up and you turned towards Jesus or the Most High, okay? Yeah, and I feel maybe you went out for coffees or maybe you got into coffee rather than doing, you might be addicted to coffee now and you've become a coffee um, lover. Maybe that's all you do is drink coffee at the moment. People find you quite fascinating and they do. Yeah, you're liberating yourself now because this person judged you and doubted you so much. They said that you was reckless to other people and now people are realising that they was reckless to you and other people because God's turning this situation around because you was being wrongly accused. And this person was saying, basically, that you was being reckless with them and others. You was fighting addictions. No. Oh, I got itchy money hand. This person might have said, like, you was bothering them. You was love bombing them. You knew this. I think you knew this with your intuition. And someone might have said that you keep pestering them to sleep with them. It's because they had no control. They might have said you was um, controlling. This person might have said you juggled them, but they juggled you. People are realising this person's very creepy. This might be making them revisit um, old wounds because neighbours and that know now. No. Right, guys, I'm going to leave it there because I've got to go to bed because it's about 2, 3 o'clock in the morning on Sunday morning. Right, guys, I love you loads, all right? Namaste. Thanks for coming to my channel. I can't scream loud because there's kids downstairs. If you like my video, like it, please. And if you want to subscribe, subscribe because it's free, okay? And then I'll be back tomorrow. I can't even really keep my eyes open, honestly. I love you loads and I do. Mm -hmm. Namaste, guys.